Now, once your team has reached a certain size, say 10 or 15 people or so, you will need to change from founder to leader. And that's what the life program is all about. I want, like, I want to help you to leave the founder and team member status and the doer status to become a leader and manager because you need to do that to become successful. That might be tough, you might not like it, but here's what you learn. Three reasons why founders have to become leaders once the company is growing. Please watch this video until the end so that you will learn why now is probably the right time for you to change from founder to leader if you have a company with at least 10 employees. My name is Armin L. Rao. I'm the founder of A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur, and I want to help you to become a great leader. If you don't want to miss any lesson on leadership for entrepreneurs, subscribe to my channel to always receive latest insight, tips, tricks, and tools from my experience to become a more successful leader of your startup or your company. Now, here are the three reasons for why you have to become a leader and manager now and you have to leave the <clears throat> founder's role. Number one is your company needs direction. And if you are a team member and you're doing everything and you're part of the team and it's all hands to the pumps kind of management style, uh, that is not going to give you direction. You are not going to leave the firefighting road. So you have to take a step back, define a direction, obviously together with your team, but at the end of the day, you will be responsible. And then you set this direction because without direction, no success. Because if you don't know where you're going, where are you going? Reason number two for why you have to become a leader from a team size of about 10 is unanimity of decisions. The thing is, once there are more than five, 10 people in a group, you will not achieve unanimity. There will always be people who are not happy with um, a certain option. So there needs to be the leader who has discussed, who has listened to all the points of view, who at the end of the day, on one hand, takes the decision and also takes the responsibility for that decision. So that has to be you as the entrepreneur, as the founder, and based on that decision, you are going forward and everybody has to follow. So it's as Jeff Bezos of Amazon would say, what does he say? Dis uh, disagree and commit, disagree and commit, because there will always be disagreement from a certain team size. Disagreement is okay, no commitment is not okay. So number two, reason number two for you being a leader now is lack of unanimity. Reason number three for having leadership in a company is peace in the organization. You need organizational peace. That does not mean that everybody is in harmony all the time. I will talk about this later too. Conflict is very good, but you need a certain, a certain peace. Because if there is no leadership, no direction, people don't know where they're going. That makes them insecure. Uh, uh, the, the, um, the rumors start going around, uh, <clears throat> titbitting and that kind of stuff, which you would not like to have. It also makes them do what they think is right if there's no direction. And this might not be in line with the company goals. And in addition, some of these mavericks who are doing just what they want because there's no leadership, they might uh, cause uh, others, you know, to be mavericks and to just to do whatever they want. And then the case is complete. This can lead to a team that works against you and the company mission. So, in order to avoid chaos and failure, you have to accept your leadership role. You're not the founder, the team member, the doer anymore. You're the leader and manager now. That is, that means that you may, th this means, excuse me, that you need to take clear decisions um, and communicate, communicate that once a decision has been taken, everyone must commit. And if there are team members who decide not to follow through our consequences and make sure everyone knows that discipline is kept and organizational peace is secure and important. Um, that is very important also for your authority. If it is very clear what you have to do and if there are individuals who think that this is just a recommendation and not a clear uh, direction, draw the consequences because otherwise um, you are going to lose authority and company success is at stake. Life coaching will enable you to acquire the skills of the greatest leaders within weeks. So if you would like to 
Become a great leader, feel free to contact me and have a free session with me to discuss about your current challenges. I'm more than happy to share my 20 years of experience with you. Stay tuned and don't forget, lead yourself.